Haven't paid a dollar for a cup of coffee in a while. <laughs> yes, there are some perks. After we get the documents from the clerk's office, we'll head back out to Shannon and see your mom. And then back to Atlanta. We'll be back in LA in a couple of days. Speak of the devil, the clerk's office. You know, I have a little boy that's six. His name's Thomas. My name's Elijah. Elijah? Like the prophet? Mm-hmm. Yes, he can raise the dead. Can he? Mm-hmm. I can't do that, but I can save people. Can you? I tell them about God. You know, someday you don't have to do this anymore. Someday, if this doesn't feel right, you can leave. Do you understand? Yes. From my son. How dare you? He's just a child. He's my child, you sinner, baby killer. Don't you dare tempt my child away from the Lord. You are sick. You're corrupting a child. You're forcing him to stand here. You're lying to him. You are scaring him. Burn in hell, lady. What you are doing is sick. Hey, you are sick. Hey. You better keep this psycho away from me. Your child should be taken away from you. You don't deserve what? to have a child. Enough. Let's go. Excuse me? Wait a second. Wait. Wait. Why would you do that? He needs to know that that is not his only option. And someday he will figure that out. Oh, yeah, will he? What, like Dominic? Like my brother Kevin? They're perverting his reality. He's going to grow up scared. Scared that if he makes the wrong choice, he will literally end up in hell. Scared of disappointing everyone. Not knowing who he is without this world of make-believe that they've told him is true. And if he doesn't believe, and if he decides to leave, then he has to choose between being himself and being loved. Because love is conditional. And if you don't believe, then you're a sinner. And sinners are failures and defective and weak. And you know what the worst part is? That that, that, that that is so normalized and accepted in social society that they will laugh at you when you are traumatized. When you're trapped in your own head. They will make you feel so inadequate that you will try to kill yourself rather than walk around with the shame that you carry every day. So I have to tell him. 
that this, that this reality, that his mission to save a damned world, it's not the only lens to see a world through. Someone had to tell him. I understand. I understand all of that. Really do. But you're not going to fix anything like that. Look, it's something I have to tell you. The clerk's office found Dominique's birth certificate. A new one was reissued in 1985 when he was adopted to your parents. His original shows that he was born to a Molly Palmer. So I asked to find hers too. And? Blair, Molly was born to your parents. She's their daughter. She gave birth to Dominique and a year later had another baby, a girl. Sad. Blair, Molly was your mother, not Charlotte. Charlotte and Greg are your grandparents. They adopted you. 